This is your guide to the two-handed backhand. Let's break it down. Firstly, we're gonna get in our ATP ready position and make a unit turn. Notice how I didn't just pull the arms back. I turned my shoulders, my hips, and my toes together. And all I did was make a grip change. The butt of the racket stayed in line with my belly button. When we turn, you want to get your right arm. I'm a right-handed player, so do this in reverse if you're lefty. Your right arm is going to be relaxed and loose, but against your chest. And your left elbow needs to get up. This part is extremely crucial. I see a lot of people set the racket down here by dropping the elbow, and this is going to cause you to get your strings pointing to the sky at contact point. So we get the elbow up here at a 90 degree angle, this way and this way, in order to keep our strings closed. Now we've got our bulletproof setup, and usually on the two-handed backhand, we'll be hitting closed stance, so I'm just going to use that for this video. And essentially the next step is sitting in a chair and setting the racket on edge, which is going to look like this. Now in this step, it may look like I pushed my arms down, but I essentially let the racket free fall into position. You don't want to force it. You want to let your momentum kind of just let go for a second. So after we've set the racket on edge, you should still be up on your toes. Remember, we don't want our heels on the ground because we're getting ready to explode in a second. Now, what we want to do is swing to our contact point. But there's a few things that we need to make sure that we do properly. Firstly, we actually want to create lag on the backhand. I know this may sound weird to you, but if you want to rip the ball like a pro, you cannot just move your arms and your body as a unit. The body needs to start the swing. Let me show you what I mean. First, let's start with the toes. We're gonna lift to our target first, which is the contact point, before we even hit the ball. And next, what's gonna follow is our torso and our shoulders. So that by the time we get to the contact point, we've essentially released all our built up energy and none of it's going to waste, right? We wouldn't wanna swing stay low and then pop up after, which a lot of people do. You're missing out on so much extra force that you could be putting behind the ball. Now, when we swing to contact and we get our lag by starting with the body first, we need to make sure that we're swinging for a right-handed player out to the left and away from your body. You do not want to be claustrophobic on the shot, meaning your elbows should not be tucked in like a chicken or a little T-Rex. We want to swing away from our body so we can get that maximum path of least resistance and get right through the ball in order to crack it. Now, you should also note that we are not opening up on the two-handed backhand. It's not like the forehand where I recommend you to open up into it and tear into it. You still want to, you know, get lag with your body, but you need to stop your chest right when you're what I call over the ball you're leaning over it with your chest and you're gonna be in a sideways position because if you open up too early, watch what happens. We drag the arms across the body and we lose our momentum. It's not gonna be a clean strike. So you need to make sure that you stay sideways throughout contact and then you can open up after and relax over the shoulder, shoulder to your chin. At the end, you wanna relax and feel like you're almost scratching your back. I see a lot of players Finish tight up here. And maybe this is a, you know, a beginner concept. We teach them to finish up here, but you want to relax the ball and you don't really want to stop the momentum of your racket. You just want to go right through if you're really trying to tear into it. Now, this is the most important thing that if you don't do, all the other stuff I just showed you is not going to matter at all. You need to imagine the two-handed backhand as a left-handed forehand choked up on the grip. Let me show you what I mean. This is my left-handed forehand, and this is my two-handed backhand. Now, what I'm going to show you is the most important concept, which is gonna get you ripping the ball. When we swing with both hands on the racket, we need to be swinging from the left side and not the right, meaning that my right arm is gonna have zero 
tension in it. It's essentially here for like to provide a little bit of extra support and almost guide my racket from point A, which is right here, to point B, which is the end of the swing. But we want to do all the work with the left side. Now it's going to be, boom, getting behind the ball and over it with your left shoulder. Not the left lower arm, because remember, we don't swing with the lower arm. We swing with the torso, the chest, and the shoulder, and we want the arm loose so that it can almost fly out of our socket. That's what I say to my students, feel like your arm flies out of its socket. Not literally, but we want to kind of catapult your body and the arm is like a loose whip. So that's how it needs to feel, you know? Pretend you're Alcaraz about to rip a huge forehand, but put your other arm on the racket as well. And then, boom, get over it, get over it. So if you're lacking power on the two-hander, you may want to try using the left side and dominating with it instead. I think you will find great energy and output and you'll be hitting your two-handed backhand much more productively. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. Good luck and subscribe for more educational tennis videos. Ciao. Most tennis coaches want to sell you a bunch of private lessons. Their instructions are vague, their technique is wrong, and often they want you to hit as many balls as possible while paying them. I offer a tennis fundamentals course that will teach you how to essentially bulletproof your game. You can find it in the link below and check that out if you're interested. I also do professional shot analysis and you can reach me at this email if you would like a 24 hour turnaround with an on-court video response where I will diagnose what you're doing wrong. I will demonstrate your mistakes. I will correct them for you. And we will also follow up with a video call. Ciao.